what's going on lawn care nation so we're gonna talk a little bit today about my demo time with the grasshopper stand on mower we're gonna compare it to the fair z3 of course everybody knows i run the z3 it's been my go-to mower for five or six years now i absolutely love it it's, it's a great machine uh the current one that i do own it's been the only one that's ever given me any kind of trouble outside of that every ferris mower i've owned i've not really had any issues with everything's been pretty good so the grasshopper we've had the demo now for about two weeks we're going to go over some of the things i like things that i dislike things that i hear that that is different on some of the newer models uh that are coming out uh, since this is uh, i guess you would say like the gen one and uh, so they kind of have a, a second generation they come out with after after this one so uh here it is let's take a quick look at it as you can see it's dirty we just got finished working so it's about bath time so it's a good looking machine i love the way it looks absolutely fantastic looking machine and of course everybody knows the z3 you look at a comparison side by side from the front uh, the Z3 and the, well, actually the Grasshopper to the eye looks bigger. Uh, but when you actually do the measurements on it, the body of the Z3 is actually a bigger machine uh, than the Grasshopper. The Z3 has 24, 12, 12 uh, tires and wheels on it. And on this one, on the Grasshopper, it is a, let me find it again. I found it earlier now, I can't find it. Uh, 23, 10 and a half, 12. So, 23 versus 24. Uh, it's a pretty big difference. <laughs> I mean, that, that one inch of difference uh, is, is huge when it comes to being on a hill. So that being said, let's get into it and, and tell you a little bit about the, uh, the grasshopper, what I like and what I don't like. Um, and, and I'll use my Ferris as a way to kind of, uh, I guess, give you the comparison between the two. Um, what I like when you're standing on the platform of the Grasshopper is you have this bolt. You can adjust your tower up and down. So I like it that I can actually get my whole body leaned against this pad. Uh, it does have a little bit larger pad than the Ferris. It actually has a larger platform to stand on too. I actually like this platform a lot better than the Ferris. Uh, it's, um, I guess, with these uh, these shocks here, it actually rides smoother than the Ferris. So the platform on this is actually smoother than the Ferris. Uh, so kudos to Grasshopper there. There's a thumbs up. Uh, the knobby tires, I do not like these. These I do not like. They absolutely chew some turf up. I mean, we're trying to do three, four, five, six point turns, trying to be easy. But if it's a little bit wet, you're going to chew it up. Um, so th those I don't like. I do like that they did make the change from uh, uh, half inch increments up to the quarter inch. So now you get quarter inch uh, height adjustment. In the beginning, all you got was a half inch. Uh, the so so that I do like I do like it has the dual fuel tanks on both sides kind of helps with the center of gravity I love that the engine drops down with the deck just like on a uh, kind of like a right to help with the center of gravity Let's see if I can get this down one handed without shaking out too much so you can see the engine comes down uh, with the uh, with the deck when you lower it so I do like that uh, don't like their flap this this hard plastic flap they've got here fortunately you can take it off you can unscrew this and pop the whole thing off um and uh this i don't know if you can see this or not when i do this for the camera you know this opens <laughs> so anyway that opens and closes it's kind of like their their form of a, of a block off plate uh, that you can open and close i honestly and, I, and I'll tell you what, I don't really like this one because the handle's too short. Um, but that's, this is for a zero turn. This ain't designed for a, a stand-on mower. So uh, when when they do finally produce one of these for the stand-on, I believe it's going to have a little bit longer handle for the operator to get to. I do, uh, do wish I had had the chance to demo one with that, but uh, no big deal. Um, this kind of give me an idea of how it works. This here I would remove. And the reason I say I would remove this is because when this is down, 
you see how low i mean it's, it's down so i mean yeah it, it keeps you from from uh blowing grass all over everything but the problem i have with it is this machine didn't like wet grass too well this literally would uh just leave a, a, a windrow of grass right along the edge of this it's like it would get caught up in it and stick to the bottom of this um and it also could be with this plate here uh could be helping to, to block some of that up i do not know i mean i did i wasn't getting off the machine while i was riding so i'm checking it but i mean i, I think if we took this off uh would make a huge difference on uh having that windrow of grass the clumpy grass so on to the next part i love the twills twills on the front and i, I and I, I was impressed. This actually rides smoother than my Ferris. Uh, everybody knows Ferris is known for their suspension. Of course, the, the stand-on's a little bit different. I mean, there's no true suspension on the stand-on. Uh, you do have the articulating front end, but uh, there's really no suspension on the front of that machine. So, the Grasshopper actually rode smoother than the Ferris. Uh, another thing I wish uh, with a 61 inch deck, we need a bigger engine. Uh, fuel injected, uh, 33, 37, 40 horse, uh, vanguard i mean whether it's the old guard or not just a, a bigger engine i believe would be uh much better for the grasshopper and 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 you can tell the difference when we're mowing thick wet grass the 26 vanguard does tend to bog down a little bit whereas the the ferris uh with the 33 horse would would seem to power right through it and i mean this is weekly mowed yards this ain't overgrown stuff i mean we're mowing weekly uh it has been wet the past uh, about a week and a half was super dry early in the year but but now we're really wet so uh we're gonna have a lot of, of dewy grass in the morning that's you know there's just no no way around it and most of the stuff we mow around here is kind of weedy so weeds get clumpy and stick to everything um i like the lights i do like that they have lights on the front uh we do work into the dark a lot of times especially in the fall when you're doing leaf cleanups and stuff and uh and then we also will uh get started early in the summer sometimes just before daylight in some of our commercial properties and so having those lights are huge as you can tell i put them on my ferris as well um the other let's see a dislike here is when i'm standing here on the uh the operator's platform i'm not a tall guy i'm about five foot ten so uh this when i lower this fully down this is the position that uh, we're mowing Bermuda at, which is generally anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches. I'm going to get this pin out. I'm going to put it on two. So here's two inches. This handle way, I mean, that's my arm extended and leaning against the uh, the pla uh, against the pad here. And I can, you know, my so I literally got to get on my tippy toes and and grab that thing all right and the reason i bring that up you know some people say richie but that's not that big of a deal well when you're mowing at one and a half to two inches there's gonna be things in the grass that you don't want your blades to hit you know that may be a rock or maybe a root uh, there's just different things that we run into mowing low uh, on bermuda especially on commercial properties and the world's worse to have those little stakes for those little stupid flags that people put in their yard uh, so <laughs> didn't really uh, like that that uh, was so far down and made it really difficult to uh, to reach um, another thing uh, let's see here I'm trying to make sure I hit everything on the likes and dislikes of this machine um, the back of the deck has no give in it so you see this uh, this piece that kicks back here so the back of their deck uh, the way it's designed when it comes around instead of just coming on around it comes back and then you got the little rubber flat back here on the back uh if, if you're low mowing low and you need to turn around you have to be careful this can actually grind into the ground you know it's got a roller underneath and everything so you've got this roller here but uh you gotta be careful that uh that'll catch uh whereas on the, the ferris you know it, it kind of flattens out on the back i mean it can still catch but i've noticed with the grasshopper i catch just a little bit more than i do with the ferris deck um not sure why i mean they're both 61 inch 61 inch decks but i seem to catch a little more with this uh a thing that i do like about it is or another thing i like about it is the grasshopper is great at jumping curbs um i don't know if it's the uh, the deck just gets higher than my Ferris or whatnot, but like if I'm climbing over a curb, climb, 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 cl clomp, 
climbing, climbing over a curb. Get there right a minute. So climbing over a curb. The grasshopper, uh, a lot of our commercial barbers have super tall curbs. I guess it's a new code that uh, the these restaurants have, have suddenly decided to adopt that they want uh, really tall curbs. To get on top of it, the uh, the grasshopper climbs really well over a curb. Uh, I don't get the back end catching or the deck catching on it. Uh, once I pop the front end over, I can kind of crawl over at an angle. Uh, generally, when you look at the back here, uh, this bar right here catches on my Ferris, whereas this one, it does not. Um, I can climb right over the curb and not have to worry too much about the that hitting anything. It gets right over the top of it pretty easily um, on the Ferris. I don't know if we can see it or not, but this seems to hit a lot. This this plate here when I'm going over, and the back of the deck catches a lot of times at the full transport height. So um, that's something you need to think about. Uh, if if you're having issues climbing over a, a curb or whatever, the grasshopper does pretty well at that. Other than that, I really like the machine, guys. Uh, I was really impressed with it, especially for a first year um, into the stand on market. I think Grasshopper's got something going here that's really great. Um, that being said, would it replace my Ferris? At this time, it would not. And the only reason I say that is because we have a lot of hills and the Ferris performs much, much better on a hill, on a side slope. Uh, it just seems to hold the hill better. Um, that could be the wheels and tires on the grasshopper being 23s compared to 24s. Uh, if it was me, I would compare the grasshopper more to the Z2 model of the Ferris than the Z3. I think it's more in that in that ballpark, um, my personal opinion. So, but yeah, that's that's my thoughts after having this thing for about two weeks. We put about uh, 15 or 16 hours on it. Uh, it looks like it's got 500 on it. It's so dirty right now. Time to get them cleaned up. Uh, that's what they look like at the end of the day. They get pretty nasty. So, But yeah, guys, there it is. The new grasshopper stand. I'm pretty impressed with it. Like I said, I uh, love the look of it. It's a really good looking machine. Um, I like what they've done with the, the red accents in behind the, the grasshopper logo and the wording on the tower. Um, but uh, anyway, guys, that's that. Uh, we'll be demoing a 52 inch. I think the 52 inch is more set up for the uh, the 26 horsepower engine more than the 61 would be. And uh, let's see if uh, if it performs better than the 61. When I get it, I will let you guys know. We will make a video on it, us using it, and give you a little uh, review of it as well. Now, it does have the upgrades that this one does not. Um, I'm not sure of all of them off the top of my head. Uh, the, the rep told me a couple of them, but uh, it does have the upgrades that grass this this grasshopper does not. This is one of the originals built here, so um, when we get it, we'll we'll try it out and see and see if we like it a little bit better. Like I said, I think the 52 is more suited for for our needs with the restaurants and things like that. A 52 inch grasshopper, I think, would be be better than the 61 but uh anyway guys uh i hope you like the video i hope this kind of gives you an idea if you decide you want to get a grasshopper um just because i say i would keep my ferris right now over this one doesn't mean i would not make that change in the future um but right now for what we do the the ferris is going to stay on the trailer um i can't say enough good things about the 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 quality of this machine i mean it's built really really well um, I'm very pleased with that. My, me and my wife both love how it rides. It rides so smooth. The controls are super smooth. Um, it's, it's, it's a good machine. Other than just a couple of things that I don't like, which is not a make it or break it for most people or me. Um, that's just, just my thoughts compared to what I've got. Uh, so but anyway, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.